Okay, um, all right, so today is Monday. Um, I've told myself set a goal to do something every week on the trailer. Um, right now it's cold, the whole family's sick, but this week I just wanted to go ahead and get something done, uh, just for progress sake. So what I'm doing this week is I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the uh, dome light, um, not mount it, but get something in between the, uh, put onto the roof so I can mount the dome light to it later when it t comes time to go ahead and mount all the lights and so forth. So go ahead and join me. All right, so the whole point of all of this is to have a mount that I can mount the dome light into. Um, right now, if I didn't put anything in there, it would just screw into the um, plywood. And of course that's not gonna hold very well, right? Okay, so my idea here is Go ahead and take a uh, half inch plywood, cut two pieces, identical size, sandwich them together, and that will give me the inch thick plywood that I need to make sure it goes between the spars almost perfectly. That way I can actually use it to drill in both the ceiling and the roof. So what you're seeing me do is just take the dome light, figure out the measurements. Um, they don't have to have a certain measurement, it's just going to be hidden. But I wanted to make sure it was big enough to for the dome light to screw in universally so no matter which way I spun it it would fit um, plus maybe have it a little bit bigger just in case one day I have to replace that dome light I can use something a little bigger than this one um, to give me a better fit uh, once it had this and I had to draw it out I decided it was not quite big enough and I added another half an inch or so um, and actually made it square Once I had everything drawn out, of course, at this point it was time to go ahead and cut this whole thing out. I didn't want to pull out a table saw for this small job, so I just used a circular saw. Here's a cool little trick for you guys. Um, we all have styrofoam laying around since we're going to be insulating the trailers. So use a small piece to put it on your workbench. It makes it really easy for you to just go ahead and use as a support to go ahead and cut your stuff. And as long as you're cautious about making sure that your depth on the tables on the circular saw doesn't um, go past the styrofoam you won't cut into your workbench but nothing will fall apart after it's done cutting make it really easy once I had the first piece cut I just used this used it as a template to measure out the uh, measure it out on the second piece um, draw it out and once again use the circular saw just go ahead and cut that out And as you can see here, goal achieved. I got two identical pieces that I will next go ahead and laminate together. Before doing that though, I did want to go ahead and roughen up the surface of this plywood just a little bit, um, just to help me with the glue up, you know? Uh, so I went ahead and I just took a sander, didn't even really care what sandpaper was on it and just smoothed it out real quick um, or roughed it up just for the glue to just stick better. Alright, and then in this clip I show you how not to laminate wood together. Um, I used way too much glue to do this and I wanted to go ahead and use CA glue just so I didn't have to uh, wait for everything to clamp later and I didn't even give myself the space to do all that so I tried to clean it up and it just it turned out messy but at the end of the day it, it worked, everything uh, fit together. And again, it's just going to be going between the roof and the ceiling so I don't even care what it's going to look like.
Alright, what you see happening here is the nozzle to the CV glue dried up. Um, if you have ideas on how to not have that happen, please comment down below. I'd love to see those. Um, in this case here, what I end up doing is pulling the nozzle off and then using the big spout to go ahead and pour some glue on and then using a nail to distribute it. Uh, very rudimentary. It worked, but of course it's very ugly. Alright, so once all the glue was set, I went ahead and I sprayed my activator onto the other piece, flipped it over, and applied it. Um, because of how much uh, the wood glue I put on, this whole entire thing ended up slipping all over the place. And it took a little longer for it to set, but at the end of the day, it set and it was good to go. Of course, part of having the dome light mounted is wiring it in as well. Um, to do that, I gotta make sure that I can fit the wiring in through here into the cabin so I can actually wire the dome light in. So what you see me do here is just use a forstner bit and just drill out, I believe this was an inch and a quarter size forstner bit to go ahead and drill this out. Um, this is big enough to where I'll be able to go ahead and finagle the wires through but not so big to where we'll see it later once the dome light's actually mounted. So, I didn't do a good job with the gluing together. Um, I think the CA glue and the wood glue mixed together and it didn't have the greatest hold. So when I was drilling it out with the Forstner bit, I ended up slipping and I just had to fix it and clean it up using a rasp, as well as a sander to go ahead and get the edges fixed up. Um, again, nobody's ever gonna see this. I do wanna go ahead and make sure it's smooth as possible though, so I don't hurt myself later. Uh, when I try to actually wire everything in. Okay, so yeah, big hole's kind of useless without the small hole. Small hole is what's going to allow the cable to feed to the big hole. So what you see me do here is just drill out the um, channel for the 12 gauge cable to run through using that same brad point uh, Bit that I was using to run the cable through the spars on the camper. Alright, so I'm guessing by now you kind of figure out what I'm doing. Um, this will go between the roof or the ceiling and the roof. Um, wires will come through this hole and feed through this hole and then there'll be another hole that will be drilled from in here down through the roof where the wires for the dome light will come through um so next step if you want to join me i'll go ahead and get the uh measurements as to where i want to put it as well as uh, glued and drilled in um or gl glued and screwed in and then go ahead and try put the final drill hole through and I'll be done for the day. Okay, so I had a couple different options as to where I could put it. Obviously, right next here to the dome light would be a possibility, but I don't know. It just seems like it would crowd this whole panel right here. So what I think I'm gonna do instead is just put it right here in the middle over here. Uh, I think it'll look good. And I'll still have the lights overhead for reading and stuff as well. Okay, so here you see me go ahead and glue this guy to the ceiling. Uh, it's just a couple of drops of wood glue and a couple of drops of CA glue to help clamp it down. Keep in mind this will later be screwed in naturally when I fasten in the, the light. So there was no reason for me to go crazy on the glue or anything here. So what you'll see me do here is just Wood glue, CA glue, fix it, done. I goofed up and I put my glue bottle in the way. But can we talk about how awesome mustard balls are for glue? They dry up still, but they're a whole lot easier to clean up. They squirt out perfectly. They're just overall great tools, aren't they?
by it. So with it set, you can see the holes in there. Um, there's a place to run the wire through and a place to run the wire through from the top as well. So at this point, there was only a couple more things to do and that was really just drill a couple more holes. You see me here just drilling through the um, ceiling in the top just to go ahead and make sure that I have a space to run the wire through into the cabin. And then of course, I still also needed to go ahead and drill another hole into the spar to run the wire into the dome light mount, let's call it. Of course, once the hole was in, then um, I could go ahead and run the wire through and make sure everything fits and runs smoothly, which it does. Um, it fits in, it feeds down, and I left about five inches just to give myself enough space to actually wire everything in. This is where I go ahead and conclude the video. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please subscribe if you found value in this video, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you guys next week.